Hammer is a weapon that relies on a bit of good timing. Its main mechanic is the hammer charge, which is performed by holding R. It will do a different attack depending on when and how you release the button. Your attacks will hit very hard and can KO the monster, but if you're not careful, the weight of the weapon will leave you vulnerable. When attacking, there is a longer delay before you can roll compared to some other weapons. Because of this and the slower attacks, this weapon can feel very unwieldy. But if you time and position yourself correctly, you'll be dealing a lot more damage per hit while still being able to run with your weapon out. Hammer can inflict KO when attacking a monster's head. The damage of your individual attacks are quite high, especially the finisher moves. Hammer has a special charge mechanic, where some of its most useful and powerful attacks are. This weapon is relatively simple, only having a few attacks similar to Greatsword. The combination of high damage with KO potential means that you can deal a ton of damage to monsters if you become proficient with it. Hammer can take some getting used to, but if you like how it looks or sounds, you should try using it at least until it makes sense. That being said, I encourage you to experiment. If Hammer really isn't working for you, pick a different weapon. There are 12 weapon classes to choose from, 9 melee and 3 range. Try them all. I won't be going into many advanced mechanics or calculations in this video. This will be more for beginner and maybe some intermediate knowledge. Again, all attacks are of the impact damage type and do KO damage to monster heads. It's also worth noting that you can run with the weapon out, and run while you are charging an attack. This gives you a lot of mobility, but you need to pay attention to the stamina consumption and consider bringing some items to help manage it. The weapon and armor I'll be using can all be bought from the equipment shop, next to the smithy across from the item shop. Let's go over the attacks first, and I'll talk more about them afterwards during a hunt with Great Jaggy. Motion values, or MV, will be displayed up here and are the damage of that attack. Higher MVs mean a harder hitting attack.
take useful items from the blue box. As stamina management is important for Hammer, the rations will be especially useful. Great Jackie spawns in Area 5. We can get there through the shortcut and camp to Area 7. Make sure to paintball the monster so you don't lose it if it runs away. Hammer's a pretty mobile weapon, so the minions of Great Jagged should only be so much trouble. Hammer can be interrupted by small attacks, but if you're running around a lot, you should be fine. The second charge attack is an extremely good gap buzzer and initiation tool. Use it often. Do it enough times and you'll KO the monster, opening it up to even more punishment. The timing can be tricky at first. If you charge to level 3, a super pound isn't bad either. Just be careful and let go of the analog stick so you don't spin on accident. The super pound has a pretty large AoE which can help take out smaller monsters as well. Similar to the Greatsword's charge, if you're doing a super pound, you want to swing as the monster ends up where the attack will land. Predict, don't react. Try and use the second level of charge to snipe the heads of monsters and roll out of danger. Normally when you're low health, you want to heal up. I'm playing risky here, but at least there are less small monsters to mess me up. Great Jackie is drooling. It's a good time to use a trap or flash bomb, as it'll last longer than usual. The tinged meat we are given can also be used now. I'm using a flash bomb before Great Jaggy eats the meat so I can sharpen and have more consistent damage when he's paralyzed. This is also a good time to heal. Looks like I didn't need to use the meat. Hammer does a lot of damage, as you can tell. I recommend you hunt Great Jaggy a few times and make his full armor set and upgrade your hammer to the Warhammer Plus. That will be arguably the best weapon and armor at this point in the game and will set you up for success. Take your time. Be patient with yourself. If you like how Hammer plays or looks but you're not so great right now, just stick with it. You'll get the hang of it eventually. Until next time.